welcome back to They Did What, your source of internet's craziest, most entertaining stories, where I go with them, analyze them, and most certainly make fun of them. Today, I'm going to be doing an update to a video I covered about two weeks ago, which was titled, Wife Tearfully Admits to One Nighter Has Blubbering Meltdown When I Hand Her Two Suitcases. And guys, as a recap, because it's been a couple weeks, that's about the guy who's been married for a few years. He and his wife are in their early 30s, and one weekend she went off to stay with her parents, which was common for her, and she went out with some of her girlfriends, and uh, he thought nothing of it. And late at night, he saw that he got a phone call from her, but didn't get it. And the next day, she comes back to the house, a blubbering mess, admitting that she cheated on him. And our guy goes out for a little bit to clear his thoughts, comes back, grabs some suitcases, and says, here you go, get the F out. And the, the part one, actually, that video I did was a series of uh, original story and updates. And anyhow, through the whole thing, there's a whole song and dance of her telling him, trick, giving him trickle truth, telling him one story, then him getting another in an email she sent. But he sent her packing. And she obviously wants to get him back, but he's done. And I might add, her family's hoping he takes her back. Her friends are, it's, it's a mixed picture. But nevertheless, he's going to see a lawyer. Now, with the update here, because I'm doing this update here to show you that they, at the end of the day, they always come back, as you're going to see here, and try sneaky, desperate tr tricks. But fortunately, it doesn't work on this guy because this guy's not stupid. So, uh, and by the way, the actual Reddit video, in case you guys want to know what it was, Reddit story was, my wife admitted to having a drunken one-night stand last week and turned me into a robot. So, for his update, he says here, uh, I debated posting this update, but a lot of people seem to be invested in this, in this mess, so here it is, apologies in advance. Uh, Kate sent me an email last week asking to pick up some things that she needed for work. My lawyer told me to not prevent her from having access to the house or her possessions, so I reluctantly agreed that she'd come over on Thursday night when I would be at the gym. I told her to be out by 7.30, but when I got home at 8 o'clock, she was still there. Of course she was still there. You really think she came over to get her stuff? She came over there as a last-ditch last effort to try to, you know, try to manipulate you into taking her back or give you some BS story. Or what you're about to see. When I walked in, she left a few work-related items next to the stairs, and she was chopping vegetables for dinner. Um, I told you to be out of here by 7.30, wife. I told you, you said you had to come over for some work stuff, not to cook dinner. She looked amazing with her hair and, hair and makeup done, wearing one of the dresses that I like. There you go. Manipulation 101. Seducing him with her body and her looks, and of course, cooking him some food. The whole place had been tidied up and cleaned. I calmly asked her to leave immediately, and she made her way to the door, but stopped and asked if we could speak. I should have said no, but eventually I agreed. Smack! You bonehead. She, she knew you would do this. She absolutely knew. If she came in with some Costco sweatpants on or something like that, I guarantee you, you know, get the fuck out of here. But since she's dressed up all sexy... And your mind, obviously, as a man, can easily get swayed to the gutter. You let her stay. So we sat down and had a conversation for about an hour, which jumped from topic to topic. Again, I told her I would record the audio, and she agreed. Very smart. I started by asking her if she kept her side of the agreement that we made the last time we spoke. She said that she had an STI test, which was all negative. Mine was too, thankfully. And a pregnancy test, which was negative. She had hadn't been with anyone else and also told a few friends and family what happened, and many of them were angry and not speaking to her. Well, this guy should be controlling the narrative and telling everybody. I don't care who it is, because otherwise, and you can't trust her. I asked a lot of questions that have been turning over my mind for the last few weeks. She confirmed that her reason for going into Max's apartment, the Uber story, was bullshit, and she said that he invited her in for a drink and she knowingly at some level that some something was going to happen she can't explain why she did this other than being selfish and enjoying the attention well she did explain that she was being selfish and she was enjoying the attention but i believe i speculated in the other video that there is no way this was her first rodeo in general but also her first rodeo or her first dance with max no way max is a brother of one of her girlfriends who came along and there was a lot of suspicious crap in the other story about him. She also confirmed that she had texted Max a few times over the years. 
because he would shower her with compliments and made her feel good. Um, define a few times, because I think it was a lot more than a few times. And probably other things happened a few times over the years with Max. He would, he was, uh, he would always initiate, and she was apparently careful not to lead him on, and she said that she never sent him explicit messages or pictures. Well, guys, this always goes back to the craving for attention and validation. It never stops. And these bimbos always say things like, I don't know why I did it. Well, I know why you did it. Because you crave attention and validation. End of story. It's like uh, attention and validation is like a plant needing water and sunlight. It can't. A plant can't function at water and sunlight. A woman can't function at attention and validation. And newsflash, gentlemen, they all want it. Kay also told me that they had hooked up about six months before we got together, but never had sex. Um, hooking up is having sex. Uh, uh, newsflash. Unless it means we did everything else, but didn't actually have penetration down there. Bullshit. She admitted she was always a bit curious, and her story about being caught at the coffee shop was that Max had uh, texted her asking what she was up to, and she had told him where she was. He then turned up. She swore this was the first time they had ever done anything like this since we've been together. Yeah, sure. She said there was nothing missing in our relationship, and she hates herself for ruining a perfect marriage and causing me so much pain. She doesn't give a crap about his pain. What she cares about, she doesn't want to get a divorce. And she doesn't want to... Look, perfect well for her is having this guy on the side to have fun with, and our guy here to pay the bills and put on the show for the public, the public face. She doesn't want to get divorced because it makes her look bad. And she has to start over. And I might add, she's 30 years old now. It's not as easy as for her to get guys as it was when she was 23. And yes, seven years makes a difference. I told her that I still didn't believe her story and there was no point in continuing the conversation. See, bro, you just wasted a whole good hour of your life sitting there listening to her bullshit. But you got us an update, so I guess that's good. She calmly asked what she would need to do to make this right. Offering up her phone, location sharing, not going out without me, etc. She had clearly been doing some research. I said that I had no plans to become her, her prison guard, especially uh, when I would never get over her betrayal. Right, it's over. And who the hell, on? I mean, really guys, who the hell wants to have a wife where you have to constantly go wherever she goes? Check her phone every freaking day, every freaking hour of every day basically be the prison guard. That's not going to work. You can't have a relationship without trust. Things then took an unexpected turn, which caught me completely off guard. She asked me to turn off the audio recording because she had something private she wanted to discuss and didn't want other people hearing it. I refused, and she reluctantly continued. Don't fall for that, dude. She asked if I had been involved with anyone else sexually since all this happened, making it clear she was fine with it. I told her no, and she said that I must be going crazy. We used to have sex almost daily. I started talking dirty about all the things I could do do with and to her. This involved a lot of kinky things I had wanted to try or had only done a few times. She said she wanted to meet my needs even if we did not get back together. There you go. The oldest trick in the book. So it's funny that when they were together and they had the perfect marriage as she described earlier. You, you heard that part. That she wasn't more willing to explore various kinky things. Notice these guys never list what these kinky things are. We all we're all dying to know here. At least I am. But now that you know she's trying to get back in this guy's good graces, now she's willing to try all these kinky things. She said that we could have as many threesomes as I wanted that from now on, or we could open up on my side of the marriage only, and she wouldn't she would even find partners for us and me. So, right here, this goes to show you, this guy doesn't mean shit to her. No woman that loves their guy would ever want to share. Ever. It's all transactional to her. She was trying very hard to turn me on, and I stayed silent until she asked who I wanted to have a threesome with. For some reason, I mentioned the name of her co-worker, who's five years younger than Kate. <laughs> and a total knockout. Now, wait, wait to rub some salt in the wound, because she's younger. This surprised her, but she was in too deep and asked me what I wanted to do with her. So she thought you, she was actually making this work. Like, she thought her plan was working on you. I wanted the detail about a pretty hardcore scenario, and Kate was encouraging me until I said that she would just be watching. 
This again caught her off guard, but she went along with it. Later on, I realized that, th that I only said this as a petty attempt to hurt Kate, which I don't feel good about. Psst, screw her. Have some fun with her. She's messing with you. You can mess with her right back. She was obviously convinced that her plan was working, so she pulled up her dress and got into my favorite position on the couch, begging me to have sex with her. Yep. She thinks it's working. I'll admit that for a few seconds, my body reacted even though my head was not in the game. Of course, you are human. Eventually, suddenly came into focus and the content of her email came flooding into my head. I can't explain why, but I started to laugh. Not just a chuckle, but a full-on body laugh. She looked hurt and moved away and started to cry. <laughs> yeah, I mean, just he was playing along with her and everything like that and just started cracking up. I would laugh too. And well, when all else fails, bring on the waterworks. Uh, I told her it was time for her to go and she quickly left. Probably due to the embarrassment. I also told her she had to hurry up and get a lawyer because we are getting divorced. The post-nut clarity after she left confirmed that I had dodged a bullet. You're darn right you did. You completely just destroyed her plan. I have a meeting with my lawyer later this week and want to move forward with the divorce as quickly as possible. And that is the abrupt ending of his story here. And uh, I have a feeling we're going to have more updates here. But I got to say this. Now that was like, you know, clearly that was her last ditch effort. To come back there and try to seduce him. Make all these promises of what he could do with her and threesomes and all that. Which I doubt would have happened. It didn't work. So what do you think is going to happen next? I think now we're going to get a 180. I think now because women can't take rejection, she's going to go full on harpy on him. Full Karen, full harpy, whatever you want to call it, and try to make his life a living hell. Now battle is about to begin. So I hope this guy is ready. I hope his lawyer is ready. And I hope this guy's funds to pay this lawyer is ready because I think she's going to go to the mattresses with this guy. But I'm glad he didn't uh, fall for her tricks, but be careful. And at this point, listen to your lawyer, regardless what he or she has to say. Maybe you got a female lawyer because they're usually better at handling the women. And go from there. And it ain't going to be pretty, man, but take it one day at a time. You're going to get through this. And I don't think he's been married that long. I think it was four years. So hopefully it doesn't get too hard, hit too hard in the divorce, but we never know. Now, a few updates here before I, I mean, excuse me, a few comments here before I wrap this up. I always love to hear the comments and people what they have to say in the peanut gallery. One guy says here, baby trap activated. Woo, close one, mate. Bet she timed this trip to pick up stuff for work when she was ovulating. Imagine that, guys. Imagine if he nailed her and she got pregnant. That could have been a last-ditch effort to save the marriage. Another one. She already admitted to she lied to you about her, about her excuses, which was supposedly her coming clean. What makes you think she isn't already pregnant? She desperately wanted you to sleep with her for some reason. Either she thinks that she'll, you'll take her back, or it's probably she wanted to baby trap you. Either way, get your divorce moving and do not speak with her without your lawyer present until you are done. Correct. Yeah, there could be a bun in the oven already. You never know. Another one. I admire your resolve, buddy. Many other men would have caved. But you kept focus on the important parts. You will never be able to trust her again. You will always think what, about what you what she did with another man. You don't want to set controlling rules for your partner. No amount of threesomes can bring you peace of mind. Thanks for the update and good luck. Look, if this guy wants a threesome, he can hire a couple of hookers. You know, he'll spend some money, but he can get a bunch of hookers as opposed to what he... That's probably cheap in the long run compared to what he would deal with with having her back in his life. Another one. <clears throat> as exactly as everyone assumed, she cheated on you already before on an emotional level and always made herself believe that it wasn't so bad until it was so bad. But I have to give her some credit for, for what she tried. That was a pretty good attempt to make you give in. Be proud of yourself for staying strong. Um, I'm not going to give credit to her for trying to manipulate this guy. What the fuck are you talking about, dude? In the end, is the one thing I don't understand what her problem is. She always liked how her lover made her feel, now destroyed her own marriage because of her lover, and now she wants to stay married. Why? Um, duh. Because she wanted to have her cake and eat it too, to have her fun on the side and have this guy pay the bills. She could just go be with her love no lover now. Guess her lover is no longer interested when there is no one to cheat on. Or he was really bad in bed. That could also be the case. Doesn't matter in the end. Stay strong and be true to yourself. I wish you all the best. Well, I wish him the best, too, and I do not think this is it. So I think we're going to have an update probably in a couple weeks. So if I don't see the update, guys, let me know, because I want to see how this thing, whole thing goes. And I want to see if I'm right 
is if all of a sudden she does the, another, she does a 180 and goes full on harpy on him, and uh, tries every dirty trick possible to make his life a living hell, that type of thing. We shall see. All right, guys, that's it for today. Be sure to comment down below. Let me know what you think about this. Be sure to like the video, share with your friends, and subscribe. I'll catch you next time.